I was offered a damaged dirt bike for $400. From whom? A friend of ours. So $400 for a bike was a bargain. A dirty deal on a motorcycle? And it turns out to be his bike. It was stolen from my yard. And when the cops came, it got messy. His reaction to the police to tell him to get them off his property is so outrageous. It says a lot about you. Judge Judy. Mr. Orion, do you have a photograph of this motorcycle of yours that was stolen? Absolutely. I'd like to take a look at it. I have a couple, actually. I just like, I just want to see what it looks like. So it's sort of like a motorized mountain bike, is that what it is? Yeah, it's a, it's a, a dirt bike. Okay. And when did you purchase it, sir? I purchased it uh, about uh, 2009, I believe, 2010. And do you remember how much you paid for it? I think I paid about 2400 for it. And you and your family have been using it ever since? Yeah, on and off. It was stolen when? It was stolen between October 20th and uh, maybe October uh, 28th. Where did, was it stolen from? It was stolen from my yard. And is there any reason that you didn't notice that it was gone during I had I had gone out of town on vacation, taking my son out of town on vacation. When I returned, I had realized it had been stolen. So sometime in, the, in late October, it was stolen from your yard of last year? Yes. And you have a bill of sale for it? I do not have the bill of sale with me. It's, you have the VIN number? I absolutely do. Okay. May I see the VIN number of the bike? Yes. Yes, Rita. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to go through this slowly, Your Honor. There's a mountain of evidence. Here is the VIN number. I'm Just a second. Sorry for the delay. All right, I tend to go through mountains of evidence and get what I need. Okay. Great. Now, Mr. Soule, when did you purchase the bike? I didn't purchase the bike. My oh. girlfriend purchased the bike. It was beginning of April. April of 2018. This year, correct. Would that be you? Yes. Your last name is? Starbuck. Starbuck. You purchased a dirt bike, April 2018. From whom? Um, Mario, a, a friend of ours. Mario what? And tell me how it came about that you purchased this dirt bike from him. Um, look at me. Don't look over there. Okay. Um, we put out word that we were interested in buying a dirt bike for my daughter. Um, we worked at a restaurant. We live in a small town, so I was um, offered a damaged dirt bike for $400. You have to tell me exactly how, what I'm asking you is exactly how that came about. Don't start breathing heavy. Okay. That was in April of 2018. You put out word in the small town that you were looking for a used dirt bike for your daughter. Yes. And what happened? Did a carrier pigeon come? Did FedEx come? Did a human being come to you? Did someone call you? What happened? You put out word and? Yes, I got a call. That... You got a call. Yes. On what date? I'm not sure of the exact date. I'm sorry. Beginning, middle, or end of April? Um, middle. That's a question. Mm -hmm. Middle is a question. Sorry. Sorry. Um, in the middle of April? You got a call from whom? A friend of ours. A friend named? Mario. Oh, that was the Mario. Mm-hmm. Got a call from Mario. Now, how do you know Mario? Um. Um is not an answer. We were, I'm sorry. How do you know Mario? We work in a restaurant. He was a customer that would come in. Who works in a restaurant? Tim and I had worked in a restaurant at the time. So he was a customer in the restaurant. Correct. Did you ever see him outside of the restaurant? I'm going to get his number from you in a minute. Did you ever see him outside of the restaurant? Um, yes. 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 Where? Um, when I purchased the bike. Prior to purchasing the bike, had you ever seen him outside of the restaurant? Yes. He was a neighbor formerly, um, like years before. So he had been a neighbor of yours. Mm -hmm. Both of yours? No, just mine. Just yours. Mm -hmm. So you really knew him before you worked in the restaurant? Yes. 